I'm a disgruntled Eagles fan. Ever also. Hey disgruntled, this is going to be a very short one because uh, to be honest I just don't want to talk about the Eagles. Um, this is going to be one of the last few times I'm going to be sitting on this pool table because we're going to throw it out soon because we sold the house and I'm we have about four or five weeks left until we actually have to move out of the house so we have at least Christmas in this house. So this is going to be the last few times and, and I'm in this position at least and on this pool table because we're getting rid of it. As if anyone wants to buy it. Yeah, so we're getting rid of the pool table and oh, last few times, or one of the last few times I'm going to be sitting here in this position. Now let's get to the Eagles. A lot to talk about, but not really. One, we've been having the same problems like we've had, but we've starting to fix it, like the play calling. The play calling has been getting a lot better, but there's a few times where it just looks like absolutely garbage. It's a few times where I'm just scratching my head on why Doug Peterson called those plays, or whoever's calling the plays. I think more of the, I think more of the obligation went on to the offensive coordinator, or at least they split half of it. Don't know why some of the calls were called, and my dad and I were just scratching our heads as we were watching. But the play calling has been getting better, and Hertz has been playing phenomenal. And I think due to the fact of the play calling getting a lot better. And Hurts actually being able to move the offense up and down the field is why we got so close with the Cardinals and why we beat the Saints. I'm going to talk about Hurts a little bit. He had a phenomenal game, still hasn't thrown an interception yet. Only one fumble in the last two games, so he hasn't been turning over the ball. He's making a few rookie mistakes, but he's outweighing that with how he's playing. He had a rushing touchdown, three passing touchdowns. He just had a phenomenal lights out game, and he can't much... And you can't ask much more about um, a rookie like that, especially one who's starting late and only had one game full start experience previously to that. And Carson Wentz's job is looking slimmer and slimmer as an eagle. I think they're going to give him at least one more year at max. And if he doesn't play well at all next year, then they're going to cut him and or release him and or trade him away. I don't think they're going to cut him outright because Carson Wentz does have value, and that's just upping Carson Wentz trading availability. Teams are looking to achieve or get Wentz. Just, he's such a, Carson Wentz is such a good player. I feel bad for Wentz. It's just not looking good for him, especially how Jalen Hurts has played the last two games beating the Saints at home and going to the Cardinals in the desert away game and making it very close to the top five defenses in the league and scoring a lot of points on them and easily moving up and down the field. This game was such an exciting game to watch. A lot more teams wanting Carson Wentz now, especially that Jalen Hurts is going is looking more and more like the starter next year. I just think we need to give Carson Wentz one more shot, at least one more year, and if he has another year like this year, then just trade him. But I feel like we're going to be looking heavily in trading him after this season is over and during the free agencies when we can actually start making trades. But and Indianapolis Colts, the Jets, so many of these teams that desperately need a quarterback, almost impossible or Carson Wentz is untradeable almost because of how much cap space he's going to hit on a team. So that's why I think we're going to keep him one more year. That's going to degrade his contract value. And it's just Carson Wentz is going to be so much, so expensive to any team that does acquire him. And that is the only thing that I think is stopping people from actually getting Carson Wentz other than him underperforming this year. But I feel like we're going to get at least a first round for him and or a really good player out of him. And it's just not looking good for Wentz. And Wentz's days in Philadelphia are getting slimmer and slimmer. And it's really a shame because he's really weaved into Philadelphia's community with his charities, just what he does for the community and southern New Jersey as well. Just what he does as a whole for the community that's around him. It's going to be really sad when he leaves because he's invested so much time, effort, and money into this city. And he loves this city. He says that he wants to stay in this city. It's just going to be sad to let him go where he has to start a new home and start an entire new life, a new playbook, 
and another team. I just don't see Carson Wentz staying in Philly, especially if Jalen Hurts somehow does make the Eagles go into the playoffs. There's still a chance that the Eagles can go into the playoffs. It's very slim, very, very slim. There's more that needs to happen that the Eagles can't control than Eagles control. The only way that the Eagles can go into the playoffs as if the Giants lose out, Washington loses out, and Eagles win out. The Eagles play Washington at the end of the season, and they play the Cowboys as well. So if the Eagles win out, it eliminates the Cowboys. And if Washington loses the next two games and Giants loses the next two games, which is actually more favorable or more likely than you might think because the Giants do play Cleveland and they play Baltimore, two very good teams, two teams that are still playoff bound and still need to win the rest of their games to even make it into the playoffs as well. So both hungry teams looking for playoff bound in the AFC and Washington plays the Panthers and then they play us. So Washington and the Giants need, both need to lose out and the Eagles need to win out. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know. As of now, it's week to week, but I feel like the Eagles should just lose out, get better draft picks because if they lose out, then they have really good draft picks. I think it's top 10, top 15 draft picks, which is really needed to help that kind of small rebuild that we're going to do. I feel like this year was kind of a small rebuild and next year is going to be another small rebuild where we acquire new players because our depth and wide receiver, our depth in these places, they're getting old, like Sean Jeffrey is getting old, our defensive line is getting old, injury prone left and right. I can't even name some of the players that are from the practice squad that has recently joined the active roster. Just because of how many injuries we had, we had so many injuries on the offensive line. And we broke the record for 13 change-ups on the offensive line, uh, 13 different change-ups and counting, and there's still two more season or two more games left. So our injuries are piling up, but I think our small rebuild next year is is possible and most likely because of how old we're getting and how many injuries we actually have on the team, and we need to acquire more depth. So I wouldn't be surprised if. Next year's another rebuild and a similar season to the one that we do have now. It's a shame because I've said this before in previous videos. We are a playoff team. We are a playoff team. We're a Super Bowl Cowboy team. And the wasted talent the last few years due to injury, bad management, bad organizational skills, treating the players poorly, just bad play calling. It's just ruining the talent and potential of that four to five year gap after the Super after you win the Super Bowl and having that Super Bowl team. It's ruining that gap of another repeat within that four to five year window. So it's just sad to see that we're diminishing that talent that we had that got us to the Super Bowl and won it. Kelsey staying strong, or Jason Kelsey on that center staying strong, but even he's not looking like himself. I don't know what happened to Ken. Uh, Johnson. Jake Elliott was punting a ball a few times this game and Zach Ertz had to be the placeholder in place of Cam Johnson because he's usually the one who takes the snap and that's, that's why I think we missed that extra point late in the game in the third quarter. It wasn't entirely Zach Ertz's fault but I feel like an experienced placeholder like Cam Johnson would be able to take that bad snap and place it in Jake Alley's position where he could get that extra point. But still, it's just, we had a few missed opportunities. Another bad, call, bad play call was going for that two point conversion because if we would have just let that one point up and then missed that extra point that we did in the third quarter, we would have won the game with a touchdown in which I just didn't want to see us to go into that overtime, but that's just an example of bad play calling. We should have taken that point instead of the two points in a close game like that. But I guess Doug Peterson was just, we were playing comeback and I didn't even, I didn't even see us getting this close and winning thanks to Arizona Cardinals. They just have a, such a good offense, such a good defense and their record is way worse than how much talent they actually have. Hopkins is top three, if not the best wide receiver in the league and we couldn't stop him. 
touchdown over 160 yards. I don't know how many receptions he has, but he just played lights out, absolutely lights out. Again, just we can't stop these top five wide receivers in the league, top 10 receivers, just can't stop them. We've never been able to stop them. The uh, De Devontae Adams um, and these other top 10, top five wide receivers, mostly top five receivers, just can't stop them. But our corners weren't there because Injuries to Darius Slay, I don't think he would have done much. Injury prone and it's killing this team. I just don't know what it is when Hertz is in there. He just, I feel like if we would have had an offense, we would have had a won a lot more games than what we did win or end up winning. I've already, I always say that I want these videos to be shorter, but they just end up, I just end up rambling because I guess I just repeat a lot, but we're already at 11 minutes or whatever. But uh, this is a great game and I'm, I think we should just tank for the rest of the last two games and get a better draft pick and hope for the future next year. I honestly think we could get a decent playoff run if we even make it into the playoffs, very doubtful. A lot of things, like I said, needs to happen to even enter the playoffs. But if we do end up somehow going into the playoffs, it, I feel like we can make a run because we've played the Seahawks really good, the Saints really good, the Cardinals really good. We just need a few things to go on our side, and I feel like we can make that run because just a few things went our, on our way, and another bad play call is that we should have expected that fake punt. That was the momentum swift, even though or switch, even though the Cardinals didn't score on that drive, it still swayed it enough and broke our momentum. And if we would have stopped them, we I feel like we would have went down at least scored a field goal because we had a ton of momentum because we just got the touchdown and then we stopped them again. I'm pretty sure Arizona Cardinals. Did a fake punt earlier in the season, so Jim Storch were prepared for that. Even though if it was only once, some teams don't even do it at all. Most teams don't even do it at all in an entire season. Or a fake punt is so rare, but if a team does it at least once, you have to expect it for the rest of the season. And that just pissed me off, and I feel like that's where we lost this game. So, tough loss, thrilling game. It's one of those heartbreakers lost. We were in it until the end, and I gotta give credit we've been playing really good lights out the past three games even though we went one and two the last three games and but i just our team has gotten better even though so many injuries have occurred i'm going to wrap it up here and thanks for watching